Hey guys, let's have a real talk about Magic the Gathering and who is running it. Now, sometimes when you feel one way, you can overcompensate. So many times people who are actually racist, they will say, oh, well, I have that one black friend of mine. And I think that's what Wizard of the Coast is doing. They are overreacting censoring magic cards and even banning them from tournaments so not only the artwork or flavor text or the offending piece they are just outright banning they banned seven cards but i would actually say that out of these seven cards some of them like crusade or even jihad are mildly when you have the pentagram and you have demonic tutor when you have cards like the Garuk card where he his uh, arm is on Liliana's throat when you have the binding card when you have reversal of fortunes when you have Elvis Ranger both versions male and female these cards are in my opinion more likely to be banned than some of these seven cards I wore especially Crusade given how many times Crusade has been reprinted and it refers to a historical event so, Mero once made a joke a few years ago about a Mother of Rune joke on Mother's Day. And then he had to edit it twice to explain the joke better, but eventually just took it down. This is why they're overcompensated. Because in their past, Mero, Aaron Forsett, the Lee Sharp they overcompensate because in actuality they have and anyone if you've been on social media long enough you probably have said something that is actually offensive it would be very difficult for you not to say something in today's uh, culture that would offend someone but this joke uh, Merrill's joke I think is a very interesting discussion that we want to have and I'm sure he doesn't want to see this has re hashtagged again but I'm going to do it because it's worth doing. And it's worth kind of explaining why we have censorship. Gone with the Wind is being censored. Uh, the Confederate flag is no longer able. You cannot bring the Confederate flag at a NASCAR race anymore. Certain statues are being demolished, including Christopher Columbus. So this is not just a magic discussion that we have to have. This is a discussion in real life. And I'm probably one of the only channels that are in Magic that are brave enough and realistic enough to bring this into real life. Whatever our small community is deciding, there are many other small communities like comic books, hero clicks, I don't know, Pokemon, that are having these exact same discussions on uh, in Pokemon. Obviously, you have Blackface Jinx, which was changed. But yeah, should... And then you had certain episodes. I think there is an episode at the beach with Misty and Garrett. I'm not sure why that episode was banned. And there are certain edits that happen to that when Japan imports anime to America, certain edits are made on because of cultural, cultural biases or what would be offensive in uh, America would not be offensive in Japan. So he has a Twitter uh, explaining the joke. Um, and let me just read it for you. She was always a bit overprotective. And this was on Monday's day. You got near fire, for example, so give you protection from red. So I come home from college with my first boyfriend and she gives me protection from black. And I'm like, mom, daughter of ruins remembers her mother. So... This should be pretty obvious what's going on. So I come home from college with my first boyfriend and she gives me protection from black and I'm like, mom. Okay, so Mother Runes is a card. It's an elderly lady and tap it. You give a creature protection from any color of your choice. Here, you're choosing black. And the explanation is actually worse than a comic. If had it been the comic itself, I would say, uh, 
Okay. Today's comic, the mother of ruins thought her daughter's boyfriend was selfish and no good, aka had properties of the color black? Like, the comic itself doesn't make sense to me, but I guess um, it can be taken in a few ways. This is pretty obviously uh, directed towards one way. Today's comic, the mother of ruins thought her daughter's boyfriend was selfish and no good. Selfish and no good, aka had properties of the color black. I think there's only one way you can really interpret this. And I'm not talking about color pie, I'm talking about, wow, this dude has been working here for six years after this, and no one called him out. So it's kind of funny, right, when people call other people out, and then they themselves are actually racist. It's an interesting thing, but they have to overcompensate. Uh, you are obviously entitled to your opinion. I don't think it is a misread. I think the dual meaning was a poor joke. There was not a, any intention of a dual meeting. See that one, I changed the comic. Now, what, what did he change the comic into? <laughs> was even more hilarious. It's kind of one of these scenarios where it's probably just better to keep your mouth shut regardless of your intention. Maybe you intended to do it. Maybe I mean, the comment about no good and selfish being attributed to the color black probably will bite you in the ass someday, which would be today, Mero. As many of you know, I'm not a big fan of his, and I'm positive he would very much um, want to keep this hidden uh, because, yeah, I mean, everyone has a bad tweet once in a while, right? I wish that players would resist the urge to make jokes in response to depictions of racism and magic. This is Tolerant Community College. This is the tip of a very big, nasty iceberg and not the place for a one-liner about fetch lands. Call for more action. So Taylor Community College, he is a community college professor before he, I guess, gave up his job and to be a full-time magic YouTuber. I think he has an intellectual way to do it, but the way I, I'm basically saying is I do agree with him. That like if Wizard of Coast really did want to create change, wouldn't they hire more for African Americans or people of minority or trans individuals? Like look at the MPL for instance. Uh, what's going on there? Are there any African Americans there? Because I don't remember seeing an African American. And look at the artists for instance. How many thousands and thousands of images are made every single set? Or, I mean, I'm sure, and there's one African-American artist out of, what, like 5,000? Like, magic has a very long history. How can there only be one? There was never any intent of a dual meeting. Seeing that people saw one, I changed the comic. Black on the color wheel isn't necessarily evil either. Confusing. Neither version is acceptable. Which is correct. So, in summary... Mark Rosewater makes a joke. It's kind of unclear what the joke is. And then he clarifies the joke, which is even worse. And then when, then he clarifies it again, making it compounding the, compounding the issue. So this is who's leading the uh, Black Lives Matter and Wizard of the Coast movement. This dude right here. White sees black as evil. <laughs> I mean, come on, dude. You can't make this stuff up. These are real tweets, by the way. White sees black as evil. White sees black as evil. Hashtag Black Lives Matter would be Mark Rosewater today. All right. Basically, what I'm trying to tell you is the cards are being censored. They're overreacting because they themselves have their own issues. And they don't hire enough people. So they're trying to distract you. Tolerant Community College is absolutely 100% right. They're trying to distract you from the actual issue. If you try so hard to hire people of color, minorities, trans individuals, why are there no people in management? 
Like who can we look at and say, oh, wow, that's an African-American in research and development, for instance, or that's an African-American in Mero's position, maybe. So this comic, I didn't find offensive. I thought it was, ah, it's not for me, but then he started commenting on it. Black as selfish and evil. And then white sees black as evil. I mean, just take that out of context, throw a hashtag on it, and say, and then and then see what happens, right? Hashtag the Black Lives Matter, and then with the exact barrels, retweet it. See what happens. Do you think the movement will support this? Do you think the movement will not like it? I, I think I know what will happen. Anyway, bye guys.